Warning. This video is weird as shit and I have no idea what I'm saying la 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 smoke weed every day 420 blaze it get wrecked mate. La la la. What is going on guys it's Constant Gamer here and welcome back to Ark Shivide Ha ha <laughs> oh god, what am I doing in my life? <laughs> so guys, basically this video is going to be a little bit different to my other ARK videos. <laughs> basically, every Monday, this is the start of a new series called Modded Mondays. Every Monday I'll take out one of the top three uh, upvoted mods on the Steam Workshop for ARK. And I'll do a video on it. I'll be showing off the gameplay of it and what I think of it. And hopefully you guys will enjoy. Now I got a little announcement or a little... I don't know, it's not really an announcement, it's just something I've got to say to you guys, or ask you really. So, I do do ARC videos on the channel, I, most of my videos have been on a certain day, I can't remember when, but I've done a lot of ARC videos. I am, it is my birthday today, I'm actually picking up a copy of Fallout 4 Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and I just want to ask you guys, would you like to see any Fallout 4 content? That's anything to do with the game. It can be from modding Fallout 4 to making these big army things like you've seen other YouTubers do. Or just going through the campaign or doing free roaming or base building. Anything like that. Just let me know, guys. I really need your suggestions on this one. I really need you guys to you know, comment below what you think of this. Because I'm running out of things to record. I know it sounds funny, but being a YouTuber isn't hard. Um, I get home sometimes and I think to myself, what am I going to record and I sit there and I think about it for a good half an hour and then I just don't bother recording because I think what I record is not going to entertain you and I, I do try my best. So I do need your suggestions. I would like to start recording another game as uh, as well as ARK. So don't worry to those of you who are ARK fans, there's definitely going to be more ARK videos. There's going to be loads more ARK videos. I'm nowhere, nowhere near quitting it now. I just want to know like if you guys would like to see any other content because there's always like a three or four day um gaps in between my arc videos and i will like try and you know maximize my channel by uploading daily if i can it is it is kind of hard for me um black ops 3 however i know a lot of people don't really like the game it's not really going to be what i'm going to record it on i may do the odd one or two zombie games but i pretty much won't be recording multiplayer on it it's it just gives me too much raid, it brings too much of a bad vibe to the community and I don't really want to have Call of Duty on my channel. So guys, leave a comment down below letting me know if you want to see any Fallout 4 content. I really, really, really will appreciate the comment. I, I really need some help here. I need you guys to actually leave some in. Also, because this is a Modded Monday series, after watching this mod, leave a comment down below of which mod you would like to see next in the next episode, next week of Modded Monday's episode 2. Any comment is welcome, any mod is welcome, uh, obviously the mod of the most votes or the most likes or anything like that will go through to being played. Okay guys, so please leave a comment down below of what you think if I should be doing Fallout 4 videos. I Personally myself, I want to do it, but I want to enter, keep you guys entertained. I don't want you guys to, you know, think, oh, he doesn't do ARC anymore. Well, there's no point in, you know, watching his channel. I want you guys to understand that I'll always keep doing ARC. I really, really enjoy the game. But I also want to, like, maximise my channel's efficiency by playing other games, making sure I upload regularly. I really, like, I really, really enjoy doing YouTube, and it really gets me down the days I don't record. I always look at the channel, and I'm, like, thinking, you know... Am I going to go through with this, yes or no? I really enjoy YouTube. I want to do it. I'm going to keep doing it regardless. Nothing can put me down from doing YouTube. I love doing YouTube. I want. I really want to play Fallout 4. And guys, because this is a Modded Monday series that I've just started, if you leave a comment down below of which mod you want to see in the next Modded Monday series, obviously the mod with the highest amount of likes or upvotes or highest amount of suggestions will be played next week. But guys, that is pretty much it for the little channel update news thing that I just said. I have no idea. Um, I'm just going to go jump straight into the, today's mod, which is the new items mod. The official name for it is the Building Extras. A hundred Over 130 new items added into the game with this mod. I think it's really cool. I'm going to go quickly jump over into the game now and check it out, and I'll be right back.
All right, guys, welcome back. And I finally got the mod enabled. Took me some time, but I did it. And we got a lovely little Christmas tree here. Ah! Die. Nobody likes Christmas. Bombuck. Oh, I am the Grinch. Ah I love doing that. <laughs> I'm an absolute weirdo. Oh my god. But yeah, let's put some more Christmas trees down. Oh wait, no I can't because i got players only on. So guys, I'm going to quickly show you the new weapons. I got this awesome battle mace type thing. It's got a skull on it. It looks pretty cool. Um, I only got this one out of all of them because it was the cheapest. It didn't require... Well, you sh everyone requires dyes and I can't be asked to make loads of dyes and stuff. So I just got this one. It was the cheapest. Primitive bone mace. Made from pure bones. This mace is very powerful. Some say most axes can't even match up to it. So this is pretty cool. <laughs> there is a lot of them. Like there's um, this one here, the unicorn mace. The weakest of the axes. Oh, it's an axe. The weakest of the axes, but still pretty powerful compared to some weapons. So that's more like a weapon than a tool. So that's pretty cool. We got some like battle axe here, 179 metal ingots. The only axe I can almost compare to the great axe, but it's still not that strong. Then we got some awesome like sword looking sword here. The sword is made from pure stone but still powerful. And guys, if any of you played Turok over on the PS2 or I think it's the Xbox original, I never had the oldest Xbox so I can't remember what the name of it is, but tell me that that is like <laughs> that is the Turok axe. I'm telling you now. I've, I've played Turok a lot when I was on PS2 and that looks exactly the same as the axe of Turok. It's so cool. So glad they've actually added this in the game. This seems to be almost one of the ex most expensive ones. So, made from bones and rough metal, but still more deadly than most swords. So, it's one of the most deadly um, ones here. This is the some primitive power. The snarl. Looks like some cool enhanced axe. We got some blue steel. This sword is made from fine blue steel and can pack a punch. So, 100 metal is comparable to these sort of... Yeah, they're alright. I'm not going to show off all of these. I'm just going to show off the, the one I've got. And then there's the dragon, which is pretty cool. Yet again, as you can see, all of them require dyes besides the one I've crafted. So, that's why I couldn't be bothered to craft more. Because I'm lazy like that. <laughs> also, they've added this thing in, which is really cool. It's like an alien type thing. Look at all the like red goo squishing around in it. And in here, there's a whole load of new furniture and stuff. So there's like... You get these giant skull heads, but they require dye like everything else. Uh, what else is in here? Oh yeah, so I got my Christmas tree from. You know, you get Christmas stockings, the Christmas wreath. Um, we can get fridges, refrigerator, better than a normal fridge, I'm guessing. Red present, blue present, green present. Does this actually say anything? Keeps perishables from spoiling for a long time. So yeah, it's pretty much a normal fridge. Messy bed. Looks better than a thatch bed. I knew. Also act as a respawn point for you and your tribe. So, basically exactly the same as the thatch bed, it just aesthetically changes. Fireplace, that is pretty cool. Nice modern fireplace. That's not too bad. A poof. Um, I don't know what one of those is. A poof, I've heard of it before. It's like some, it looks like some hot stone in this picture. Then you've got all these like small TV stands. What's that, is that a TV? No, mirror. Oh, 75 inch Samsung LED TV. So that's pretty cool. A very large HD TV to make your place feel like a home. Got some like little lights and stuff. Grimfire statue, glass frame, blah blah blah. And you got like these yellow bees, all these different bees. You got a weeping angel there off Doctor Who. If any of you seen that? And I absolutely hate those things. Ugh, angel statue is absolutely horrible. Get away! away from me wine bottle set take a sip of wine and relax so if you want to get smashed then you just you know neck a couple bottles of wine oh these pile of storage so this is better than a so it's a lot more than a large storage box but not as much as a vault so i guess that's okay you know you've got candlesticks torture uh soccer but how good how good <laughs> a simple unadorned stone headstone to mark a grave or commemorate a loved one. So, 
yeah, that's that. Hmm. Golden Breezer. And then you've got um, some couches here. Different colour couches. Different colour wall lamps. Different colour hanging roof lamps. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh, nice oh, these are like little modern tables. And all modern stuff in this mod. It's pretty cool. But my favourite thing, guys, out of the entire mod has got to be the kibble bending machine. This thing is just the answer to all your problems. You can buy every single kibble in the game. Certain metals, like, you know, what's this? Rex eggs, 20 metal. Uh, uh, spider eggs, 10 metal. Raptor eggs, like, let me spawn and quickly give myself some metal. I'll just quickly see how it works. Let's just do this. Oh. Right, so I threw some raw metal in there, and I'm going to see what I can get. Like, I want some stego kibble, so... No, I'll put two of them onto craft. Uh, some rex eggs, I'll put some of them onto craft. Some kibble carno eggs, yeah, may as well put two of them on. And two titanobo eggs. And two are gentle for this, why not? Now, let me quickly unpause the game. And this is, yeah, it's freezing. Okay, so it's crafting them, which is pretty cool. So what is it here? This pet food recipe has been carefully designed, blah 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 blah, that's the default little bio that comes with all of it anyway. As you can see guys, it's crafting of the cables, it's just changing the metal into them, so... This is really really good, I actually really enjoyed this part of the mods, obviously if they added this into the game it would ruin it, they want the game to be hard as a hardcore type of survival game, so you have to craft cables. But for those of you who have private servers, like, I'd recommend, like, it would be good if there was just a mod for just the vending machine, like... All this other stuff here, the weapons and stuff, I don't really care about. This is like the main feature. I really like this kibble thing, because kibble is a right pain in the arse to get. And you all know that, how hard it is to get kibble. It's really annoying. So I'm just going to throw it away, because we don't need it. But I need to get rid of everything that's stored up in my inventory, because I spammed, gave myself loads of items. And it's just taking up loads of space, so let's get rid of all that once. There we go. Oh, all, oh yeah, they actually in these small little blocks. I I don't think they have a... Oh. They don't really have a use. Look. So, this is what it does. You can build out of it. That's it. <laughs> it's like a little box of, like, for found, thatch foundation walls and stuff. And it's... I don't really know what it is. It's like a little thatch hut. I think it's just to fill little gaps and stuff in places. Or you can build a house out of this using the thatch cubes maybe and the metal one here it does look like it's kind of been designed off of the metal doors they've like been shrank down and all squished around so that's what it looks like to me because i see like the little window frame bits and stuff like that it's pretty cool and then you've got a stone block and a wood block and they're all pretty useless well, this doesn't yeah this doesn't have any sound effects in the game yet which mm, isn't surprising Obviously, the uh, mod's still being whipped on and stuff. I'm going to test how much damage this pike does compared to the new weapon I've crafted to like, structures. So, so, to wood, it does... <laughs> and this is so bad. So, to wood, it does 21 damage. 21! You know, everybody loves that fine. Play along, guys. Play along. Uh, recently damaged. Repairable in one minute. Oh, yeah. I did notice they've done that recently. Well, not recently. It's been here for quite a while. But they have, like, nerfed how rapidly you can repair. And to thatch, it does what? I don't know. We're about to find out. Here we go, boys. Here we go. What's it going to do? Oh, sh... Wait, that's strange. I I'm kind of confused of how it's done 21 damage to both of them. Like, thatch is obviously weaker than wood. Yeah, it did 21 to thatch. And 21 to wood. I don't know how much this does. I'm just going to... Uh, this does slightly more. I'd say about 30. I can't be asked to count it all up. So I'm just going to sit here and smack this in anger. And I am going to quickly spawn in a Carno, because Carno is my favourite dino, my favourite carnivore. And I'm going to spawn it in, see how much damage this does, how quickly I can kill it. So first let me, like, you know, get myself in walk mode, so I can actually fight this thing. I'm going to spawn in a Carno. Oh, yes. Here we go. Oh, no! Oh, leave me alone! Get wrecked, mate. You are going to die. Ah! Troll-a-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-la-
We need to escape. We need to escape. We can't survive this. Oh, his little nimble arms. Now I'm gonna beat him. Come back. Back. Fight me, bitch. Yeah. Oh, oh. shit. I died. Oh, well, Illuminati died. confirmed. Actually. Oh, look, there's a sea mine over there. Let's see what we can do about it. Remember, you can't kill sea mines with shotgun shells or bullets. Good job, I got a bazooka. This does not seem like a good idea. Oh. Oh, you can shoot rockets underwater. Well, it broke straight after a shot and I missed anyway, so. Oh, let's put Christmas trees down here. Why not? Merry Christmas, fish. Hope you have a happy new year as well. Come on, get out of the water. Come on. Whoa, what the hell is this? Engram Dave. Summoning the Dave would be good or bad You for you. <laughs> you have been warned. Wood, 30, black car, red car, and white I'm actually going to try. I'm actually going to craft this up, guys. See what it is. Because this just looks freaky and weird as hell. Engram Dave. Dave. Everybody run from Dave. This is going to be like some mutated creature now, isn't it? Or oh, it's probably just going to be like a reskin of the dragon or something dumb. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back when I've got this thing up and running. <laughs> okay, guys, so I just quickly grabbed myself the da the three dies needed for the, the day. Now I'm going to quickly give myself some wood and see what this does. I'm really excited to see what this is. Oh, God, here we go. Crafting. Oh, yeah. I'm in players only. <laughs> Unpause to see what it is. What is this, Dave? It's an item. You can place it. Dave. Oh, it doesn't seem good. Get rid of all this junk quickly so I can run if I need to. Let's walk as well. What the fuck? <laughs> what the? Oh. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh, this is so messed up. Oh! What the hell? <laughs> Rest in peace, Dave. Let's drag you out of here, buddy. Come on, Dave. Dave, I got you. Come on, Dave. Well, it was weird, like, you know, it, it spawned in a statue Dave, and then I punched it, and then he ran away, and then he got shot by a turret, flew over here, drowned. And now, they see me rolling, they hate him. Fuck you, Dave. You scared me. Well, that's the end of Dave, everybody. Sorry, that didn't survive very long. And now he's gone. Oh no, he's still there. I want to know if it if he left anything behind after I punched him. I said like Dave, five out of five. I don't know if there's any more. Oh, and I can't be bothered crafting anymore. Oh well. <laughs> well, that's that, guys. Let's just quickly destroy this Christmas tree because I'm the Grinch and I fucking love Christmas. It's a joke, by the way. I actually love Christmas. It's nearly bit. It's nearly dead. I should do. Come on, mate. Reload. One more. Oh, it's not even damaging it. What an idiot. What an idiot. Oh, there we go. It's gone and nothing has happened. Okay, guys, so that's it for this episode of Modern Mondays. If you like this series, then don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you wish to see more of this series, then don't forget to subscribe. Guys, um, do leave a comment down in the comment section, obviously, um, of what mod you'd like to see next. Uh, it could be any mod on the Steam Workshop, obviously the person with the most likes, most upvotes, or the most suggested mod will be chosen. And guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. Also, like I said at the start of the video, please let me know uh, what you think about the Fallout series starting. I really do need some feedback on that. I'm running out of things to record. Like, I know things to record, but you know, it's, it's hard to explain. YouTube's hard hobby, alright? I'd like to see you all try and make your own YouTube channel. It's not easy, bro. It's just not easy. So anyway, guys, just want to thank you for watching, and thanks for all the support on all my other videos. I really, 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 really...
really do appreciate it, guys. Really, really, really do appreciate it. And that was an absolute milk. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.